Hello and a warm welcome to all of you. My name is Shankar Vishwanath. I am a chartered accountant and an emotional intelligence coach with about 29 years of corporate work experience and 6 years of experience in the learning and development space. In today's video, I am going to talk to you about the difference between sympathy and empathy. Is there a difference? And the answer is yes. What is sympathy? Sympathy is a feeling of pity and sorrow towards someone's misfortune. What does that mean? You're driving on the road and you see an accident on the other side of the road. You take a look at it and you say, Bechara must be in agony. Sympathy. You felt pity towards the misfortune that the other person is going through. What is empathy? Empathy is putting yourself in the shoes of others, feeling what they are feeling and simultaneously taking an action to alleviate the pain of the other person if needed. Daniel Goldman has defined three levels of empathy. Let's look at each one of them with an example. The first level of empathy is cognitive empathy. Cognitive empathy is looking at the situation from the other person's perspective. It is very, very important. For example, if you are in a negotiation table or you are a leader running a meeting, isn't it important to look at the other person's point of view and understand it? And the answer is yes. However, understanding somebody's point of view is not the same as feeling the pain that the other person is going through. The second level of empathy is emotional empathy. How does that work? Let me give you an example. Let's say your spouse comes home and says that he has been laid off and is sobbing. Looking at him sobbing, your mirror neurons get activated and you physically feel the pain that he is going through and you also have tears in your eyes. This is emotional empathy. Emotional empathy is feeling the physical pain of somebody else. The advantage is you are able to feel what the other person is going through. However, the disadvantage many a times is that you may be so emotionally involved in that that you become a nuisance to be handled at that point of time. Compassionate empathy, the third type of empathy that Daniel Goldman speaks about as the most beautiful form of empathy. Your spouse comes home and tells you that he has been laid off. You give him a hug and you tell him that you are there for him if he needs you for something and that you and he are going to face this together. You see many a times when people are undergoing some kind of pain they are not looking for a solution necessarily. They just want you to be there. Compassionate empathy brings in a mindful touch to the situation. So, there is a difference between sympathy and empathy as you can see. So next time somebody asks you, you should be confidently able to explain if you have watched this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please click on the like button and share it with somebody whom you think it may benefit. If you have a point of view on this, please post and it would be a pleasure to hear from you. Until next time, this is Shankar Vishwanath signing off, asking you to take good care of yourself and stay healthy, stay safe and keep watching these little videos that I bring you on emotional intelligence. Thank you very much.